With all these new artists I've been reacting to, I've been thinking of a way I can document my journey of listening to their whole discographies without doing a reaction because reaction videos for whole discographies are so tiring to make. So I thought I would do some listening vlogs and I'm starting with Bjork because I thought it is the perfect time of year to do a listening vlog to her and she's a great artist to start with because her music has so much meaning, so many layers and it's so interesting. So I thought if I listen to her music for about a week, two weeks, however long it takes me and document my ideas and thoughts as I go along, it would be a fun video. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I've already started listening. I did a first time reaction if you haven't seen it, but I thought that I would do a vlog like this so that if my opinions change throughout the week or I listen to a project again and I like it more or I like it less or I have more thoughts, then I can share that because in a reaction you're just seeing what I think first of all and with music that's as artistic as this, I don't want to miss some of the messages and not talk about them. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. Let's go. <laughs> So most people would start from the beginning, but I decided to start with her most recent album first, which is Fossora, because of when I first reacted to the title track of the album, I just loved the biology vibes and I just really, really wanted to hear it. So I'm choosing that as my first album to listen to. I've already listened to at least six of the songs. I don't exactly know, but I love it. It's so, so cool. And I love how it progresses as like a story. Um, and all the different themes in it. It's so, so interesting. Um, so I'm gonna keep listening to that and let you guys know what I think. Ideally, I would have started with her debut because it is like the most famous, but there was just something that was just so intriguing about this album. So that's why I started with it. So I've just finished the track Fungal City on Fossora and it is just insane. This album is so haunting, so beautiful, so brilliant. Like the vocals, I love all the different instrumentation. It's just so, so cool. And I've just never heard anything like it. It really does sound like a, like a haunted forest. I can really hear all the mushroom kind of vibes, like the mycology um, the kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, and I just think it's great, it's such a coincidence that I started listen to, listening to Bjork this time of year because it's Halloween in like four days, <laughs> which is such a great coincidence, but I just absolutely love this album. It's just so insane and it sounds like great music to listen to when you're doing like art because it's so abstract, so artistic and it really is going to take a lot of listenings for me to really understand this album because it's just so so in depth so detailed there's so much meaning to everything when i google it and like look on genius and everything there's just so much that went into making this album so many different things that bjork wanted to do with it this project it was just so much and it looks like she does that with for all of her albums so that's really really interesting um i'm gonna go and start studying now just finished my breakfast at half 11. we love it um and i'm gonna carry on listening to this album but oh my gosh insane love it i'd love to see them make a whole movie out of this album Okay, so it's a couple of days later. It is the 1st of November today, which is crazy. Like, I can believe that it was October, but November just sounds really late, I don't know. But anyway, so I have listened to the whole of Fossora now, as you heard all my thoughts about that. Um, and now, looking back at that album, it kind of, it's difficult to say still, because I've only heard it once, but um, 
I don't really like the way that album makes me feel. It makes me feel really like, like kind of scared and anxious. I don't know if it was just my mindset on the day that that's why I felt like that, but I felt like the music kind of heightened that a bit. And like looking back at it, I feel a bit like, I don't really want to listen to that project anytime soon. It definitely was just my hormones. Anything made me anxious that day. So I just absolutely love the Fossora record and I'll definitely be listening to it again soon. It's just so amazing. And I can't wait to unpack all the different like elements that were woven into this record. It's just so clever. And I can't wait to watch all the music videos as well. So yes. So yeah, I don't know if it was just my mental state or just the album itself, but I don't know. But I've started listening to um, her first album, which is called Debut, and I absolutely love it. It is so, so cool. Um, I prefer it a lot more to Fossora um, because I just love the storytelling and like the concepts around Fossora, but I just don't like the way it makes me feel i just feel like kind of uneasy and i don't really like that i think it's good when i'm doing like creative projects to listen to it but i haven't really been in the right mindset to listen to it and be creative and all that stuff because of the last couple of days have been mad um but yeah i love her debut album um so i finally heard human behavior which is an amazing song i love the way it sounds it's so so cool like with the riff in the background love it um and then i loved crying it was such an unexpected bop i absolutely love it um and then we have um i've forgotten what it's called but it's the one about love like someone it's not someone to love because that's a different song it's something it's called something like that uh and i love the harp in it it's so beautiful just how it sounds and then um the one where it's like in a nightclub, I've forgotten what it's called. Something about this not being what life is like or something. Um, and the, the way that it's really cleverly put together. So it sounds like she's going in a room when she's in a nightclub and like closing the door and then she's talking and you can like hear it and everything. And then it goes like back into the, the main music. It's such a cool concept, a cool idea. So I really, really love that. Um, so that's where I'm up to on the album so far. Um, so yeah, really excited to hear the rest of it. I really want to watch like the music videos um, and everything. So yes, I will be doing that soon as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go and listen to the rest of it. Might even listen to some of Post today. We shall see. Um, and I've decided that I'm gonna do um, the Sugar Cubes as a listening vlog and I'm gonna do that after Bjork's listening vlog which is this video <laughs> So it's a couple of days later, it's now Sunday, the last time I filmed it was Wednesday and so much has happened. Here is a mini vlog to show you.
thought it'd be nice just to share that with you guys to give you some context on my week um so yeah it was a great week and um i'm gonna start saying bjork instead of bjork because that is how you actually pronounce her name i took like people saying bjork as fact when i probably should have checked it first um but yeah so i saw Maisie peters incredible absolutely loved it um so i didn't get to listen to a lot of bjork last week except from the stuff that i did listen to because i was listening to Maisie and greta because i was so so excited about seeing them both at the concert and it was incredible anyway i digress let's get back to the video this morning i have listened to um a lot of debut again um and i'm gonna be trying to finish the album today because i listened to most of it but i didn't finish it and i want to kind of finish it so that I can move on to post, um, which I'm really excited about. I also want to react to some of the music videos on my Patreon, but I haven't had a chance to like sit down and film that because I think it'd be really, really interesting. But if I don't get a chance to react to them on Patreon, I will just share my thoughts on this vlog. So yeah, I shall see. Um, but I'm going to go and do my coursework and listen to the rest of Debut and I'll let you guys know what I think. But so far, incredible, incredible album. Um, so, so interesting, especially as she was in a group before called the sugar cubes i'm not sure if she released this album after leaving that group or before or if it was at the same time i don't know let me know in the comments um but yeah love it it's so interesting such an interesting album and i love how all of the songs sound um and yeah i think it's really interesting to um compare her like most recent album which i listened to first with her debut i think that's like cool that i did it that way i don't know yeah, let's go listen to it. It looks like I've got a bob. <laughs> anyway, so I mostly listen to Debut now. I think I must have heard all of it. I don't know, my mind is all over the place today, but I'm going to be listening to Post now, which I'm really excited for. I think I'm going to really like it. Um, people have said it's, the, it's a really good, like, entryway into listening to Björk so it's like a good album to start with and I'm just I don't want to listen to very like heavy deep Björk tonight because I don't think I'll be able to like fully enjoy it so yeah I'm gonna be listening to Post which I'm so so excited for and I'll let you know what I think. So it's been a week since I heard the album Post and oh my gosh incredible incredible album i absolutely loved it i loved the atmosphere of it and i think it was perfect that i listened to it in the evening because it really suits as like an evening album i absolutely love the artwork of the cover with all of the like japanese postcards in the background of it making it try and look like piccadilly circus which is really really cool um i love how that kind of juxtaposes the artwork for uh, Björk's first like debut album uh, because that's like grey and quite simple and then this one's like really bright and colourful. I love how they kind of are opposites of each other. That's really, really nice. Um, and it kind of looks like a painting. I don't know if it's the way it's been edited, but the artwork for it looks like a painting. So, so cool. Um, but yeah, I absolutely just adored it. Every single track was amazing. I think I preferred it to her debut album just because it was... I listened to it as like an entirety thing. I didn't listen to like a bit here, a bit there, but I need to listen to them both in full again to know. But like first impressions, I absolutely love this album. Can't wait to keep hearing more of her albums. I've started listening to Homogenic, but only had a bit of the first song and I wasn't in the, red head, the right headspace to kind of enjoy it. Um, but what I've heard so far is amazing. Um, and yes, just incredible, incredible. Love it so much. I also watched the Venus as a Boy music video, which I really loved. I love the art style of it. If you'd like to see my reaction to it, here are a couple of clips from it. I love this track, it's so cool. I love her voice in this song as well. But the rest of it and like the full reaction will be on my Patreon. So if you're interested, a link to it will be in the description box. Um, I'm gonna be slowly reacting to all of her music videos. I'm putting it on Patreon and I just really think it adds a lot to her music, like seeing the music video. I think it's very, very cool. And it's so intentional, every little detail about the music video. So it's really, really important to experience that as well. So I love doing that. And yeah, it was very unusual. And I didn't really pick up a lot of the details the first time I watched it because just so much was happening so quickly. 
um, but it was very, very clever. I really loved it. I'm doing my geography coursework and I've decided to listen to Post again, just to really, like, remember all of the songs from the album, because I just love it. Um, and yeah, it's just incredible. So I am on the song All Neon Like on Homogenic. I listened to a bit of Post, um, but I really wanted to start Homogenic and I'm not really sure about this album. I don't know if it's not because I'm I'm not like properly, properly sitting down listening to it. My nails look weird. I'm not like properly sitting down and listening to it and like, like paying complete attention to it, but it just, I'm not enjoying it as much as the first two, but maybe it will take a bit more listens for me to love it, but I'm really sure about it. There's a lot more electronic influences. Um, and I love how all of the songs vary in length. So we have like Hunter, which is four minutes. Then we have Yoga, that's five minutes. Then we have one that's three minutes and then five minutes. And then one that's almost six minutes, which is really interesting. Um, and makes the album really cool to listen to. Um, but yeah, I like it. I just don't really like love it instantly like I did with Post um, and with Fossora. So yes, but I shall keep listening and see what I think. It's quite a short album. It's only 10 songs. I think Post was only 10 songs as well, but I love the length of these albums because they just seem like they're not too long, not too short. And you can kind of enjoy them all without thinking or think I want to listen to a different project now like once you've listened to it all it's like oh no it's over but also it's like oh that was enough like I didn't need any any extra songs so I think that's really nice Hello, so it's been an insanely long time since I've done an entry to this video um, because I found um, Björk's Medulla album so hard to get into uh, just because I would just listen to it the odd time. I wouldn't give it the proper time that it needed for me to really digest it, understand it. But when I finally did, oh my gosh, it was such an incredible album to listen to. It takes about two or three songs, but once you've listened to those, it is just such a masterpiece it is so clever and so beautiful but um if you have like your family members walking past while you're listening to it they will have absolutely no clue what you are listening to um my family was so confused walking by they were like what on earth is this um because it really takes time to get into the artistry of it and realize how clever it is how creative it is how um, beautiful it is, the way it's layered, the way it's been produced with all the different voices. Um, so yeah, it was funny to see their reactions, especially as both my parents um, were fans of Björk at the start of her career um, as a solo artist um, in the 90s, I think it was, like with her debut album. They loved her sound and her music with that album, but their later albums they haven't heard much of because um, they don't tend to play Björk as much on the radio in this country, uh, especially because her music is quite uh, unusual and unique, um, that it's not really... The radio don't really prioritise it, which is really bad. The radio needs to play more different stuff often uh, because when you get new singles from these boring pop artists, they just play it again and again and again so when I hear a new song I'm like oh that's 
that's good like it's it's not the best song ever but it's like an okay pop song and I'm like oh um I really like this new song mum she's like oh yeah I've already had that on the radio they play it like five times a day I'm already sick of it it's a bit of a shame uh so yeah but Medula amazing 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 I don't think I've talked about her other albums yet on this I think the last one I talked about was maybe uh homogenic I need to check I need to have a look um at this video and what I've said but oh my gosh I absolutely love her music it is so beautiful but just how, with how crazy things have been I haven't been able to properly sit down and listen to it because I think that's the best way for me to consume her music is to just sit down um and just immerse myself in it because if I try and do something else or if my mind's really busy or if I'm really stressed then it just won't hit the same like when I'm really really stressed and like sad and like in an irritable mood and I listen to her music it's just horrible because it is not I'm not in the right headspace so the art gets lost and it's really rubbish but yes let's have a look at what I last said so then I know what to talk about yes it was homogenic that I last talked about um I still am not really sure about that album um I'd like to consume some of the other media that goes with it like the music videos, maybe some interviews and things like that so I can kind of understand it better because it really doesn't sit well with me. I don't really, I don't really get on well with that album. Um, but it is meant to be like a more difficult to get album. So I don't know, um, but it just makes me feel really like uncomfortable, especially that like the first song Hunter um, the way that the beat is really disjointed and kind of um, not in a proper like stable pattern like I just don't I just find it quite hard to listen to uh, without getting kind of a bit you know but that might have been the intention of the album you never know that might have been what it is for it's really interesting looking at an artist like this to be able to interpret the music in different ways so, Vespertine, oh my gosh, incredible, incredible album. So, so beautiful. I absolutely love the way that all of the songs sound. Um, I would say it's probably one of my favourite ones of her projects that I have listened to so far. It's just stunning to listen to. And a lot of people who have listened to like her whole discography, it is one of their favourite albums from her. It's just stunning. Uh, we have her wearing the iconic swan dress in the album cover uh, and it's just perfect and it's 12 songs long, perfect um, sized album and yeah, I did finally finish listening to Pagan Poetry. I got a lot of people getting very annoyed that I didn't listen to the whole song in my first reaction but what can you do? Anyway, Medula, okay. So where did I listen up to? I can't actually remember how much I listened to, but I listened to most of this album. 14 songs. So like a medium sized album, I'd say, because some so, sometimes it's the norm for an album to be 20 songs now. So you never know. I absolutely love like how exciting it is when you get the deluxe version of an album like you fall in love with like the main album and then you get the deluxe and there's like five new songs or whatever and it's like incredible anyway Björk doesn't have any deluxe albums so we don't need to talk about that in this video except from expand edition of Mount Wh Wittenberg Orca which I got extremely confused about in my um <clears throat> what is wrong with my voice in my first time Björk reaction video and everyone was like I can't even remember what they said now, um, but yeah. Yeah, and I've also heard Fossora. Fossora is just insanely beautiful. I love it, but I would not listen to it at night when I'm walking around. Okay, so the next album after that is gonna be Volta, which is a very unusual looking album. We have some very interesting, interestingly named songs. It's only 10 songs long. There's a song called Pneumonia, which is kind of, which is kind of terrifying. Um, <clears throat> we have Earth Intruders, Wanderlust, I See Who You Are. Very, very interesting album. I'm very excited to listen to this. 
And then we've got a live version of that album after that, which I probably will not listen to, but probably will listen to it at some point. So yeah, let me go and actually upload the Noah Khan video and then I'll be back in a couple of days when I've listened to some more albums. I've decided to finish the video here and I'm going to be doing another listening vlog for the final four albums that I haven't listened to because or else this video is never going to be finished because I want to be able to give those albums the time that they deserve so that I can properly like get into them because if I don't then I won't enjoy them and I don't want to give my thoughts on it when my thoughts aren't actually what I think it's just because I haven't had time to digest the art because I want to give them the time, you know, like I don't want to rush them uh, and I don't want to just like, I want to have the time to just like enjoy them properly. Even though I said that about three times. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing another video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Hope it was nice that it was something different um, instead of reactions. I'm definitely going to be doing this for a lot more singers and their discographies. Um, I've been focusing on my other channel um, for the last month or two because um, I've been absolutely loving filming on there so I've just been prioritizing that because my exams are coming up so I'm focusing on exams but I need YouTube as my hobby so I've decided to do more like laid-back witchy videos on my other channel so if you're interested in that it will be linked down below as normal don't know who that bloke is why do people keep coming into our road to just turn around that was really annoying. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I just, yeah, I just think it's the best decision to make now. But I really hope you've enjoyed this listening vlog. Let me know your thoughts of these albums in the comments down below. Uh, I really did try and do her whole discography in this video, but I've been making this since um, the end of October. So I really, really need to move on and start working on the next video uh because i have given it time but it's just i don't know so yeah please like the video if you enjoyed it please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and let me know in the comments what your favorite Bjork album is because i would love to hear it uh see you all soon bye